the brain. What do we really know about it? In neuroscience, there's a saying that the more we learn about the brain, the more we find we just don't understand. One way science learns, by capturing the brain waves our minds send out. To think, to move, to talk, anything we do generates brain waves. And that's what got some minds thinking at a company called NeuroSky, where researchers found a novel way to let our brains tell computers what to do. People are still kind of getting used to the idea that this kind of technology is like coming soon. Now pay close attention. It looks like a video game that you play with a mouse, right? Well, this NeuroSky employee plays this video game with his brain. After he brings his character to a place where he can make something happen, he takes his head off the keyboard, he thinks real hard, and voila! The box is lifted without any clicks or keystrokes. So I believe these sensors are just our keyboard to the world. Now, it's not mind reading. NeuroSky sensors can't tell exactly what you're thinking, but they can detect your brain waves and convert them to digital signals. And this allows you to interact with computers, cell phones, and any other device where NeuroSky sensors are found. The key is to filter out all of the noise that our brain waves make and find the one channel that controls the action we want. Have you ever seen people wearing those noise-canceling headphones on airplanes? Well, that's a good example of how NeuroSky's technology works. Our neurons in our head fire. We do, we, when we think we move, our neurons actually um, emits this very low level signal, uh, electrical signal. So our sensor detects that signal. The technology gives a whole new meaning to the term mind games. Click on the drum in the center of the screen and then concentrate on it. That's right, you've got it. Keep on concentrating. Excellent. Your level of concentration will have an impact on the difficulty of this game. The old way would be to have games that challenge your reflexes and challenge your skill levels. And we don't want to replace that. We want to layer on to that. We want to provide an additional level of input. NeuroSky is among a number of brainwave companies with brainy ideas. Some devices already help control hyperactivity or depression. Some users in Japan use their heads to turn their GPS-equipped cell phones into life-saving devices. By the time you have a heart attack, it's hard for you to dial 911 if you can't move. So people uh, use our sensor built into the cell phone and they put it in their front pocket near their, their heart area. And when they have a uh, detects a heart condition, it automatically dials 911 or the equivalent of 911 in Japan. Working in the neuroscience field can have its pluses and minuses. For example, how the heck do you explain to other people what your product actually does? Most times when I tell people that uh, I work on neuroscience, it kind of confuses them. It's not a very good line at the bar to tell girls. <laughs> so the next time you see somebody playing a video game without touching a mouse or a keypad, don't interrupt them. The computer is just listening to their mind.